Hello, my name is John Capitani. When I first came to law school, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. Um, I was open-minded. One field of law that just seemed to fascinate me was public interest because of the uh, subject matter and um, the rights of individuals are, are protected in that field of law. The summer internship uh, with Professor Brooks was extremely impactful uh, on my plans for the future because um, there was so many facets of the law that public interest um, occupies or encompasses that um, when, you, when you understand those fundamentals of law, you can practice them in any field. I chose to work in the bankruptcy clinic because I am interested in working in the bankruptcy field after graduation. A professor Rubenstein is one of my role models in the bankruptcy field. I think one of the highlights of interning in the bankruptcy clinic was being able to do some legal research on the CPLR and RAPL provisions that were due to sunset uh, in regards to mortgage foreclosure settlement conferences. And during my research, uh, the New York legislator renewed those uh, provisions of the CPLR and RAPL to enable homeowners to meet with their lenders and negotiate some type of settlement to keep them with their homes. So this will enable um, all New York residents to um, still have that opportunity to negotiate with their lenders and avoid the foreclosure process. Some of the things I did this summer were participate in court proceedings. I participated, um, I was actually went on the record um, in court. I went into the judges chambers and participated in conferences. I watched trials. Um, at the Children's Library you're required to do a legal project so I put together all the juvenile delinquency statutes that are used in court and I um, compiled them with my own commentary on what the practical implications of those were in court. I also with the Children's Law Bureau um, was able to visit some of our clients and make sure that they were in stable and good homes. I worked at uh, Barquette, Marion, Epstein and Kieron, and it's a criminal defense firm located in Garden City, New York. I wanted to work there because I had experiences there last spring semester. Um, I worked there through the Torah Law Center externship and I became very involved in two cases that I was working on there. I wanted to continue working on those cases through the summer. Wrongful conviction cases can be very uh, complicated and time consuming and I felt like throughout the whole year I had put in so much effort I really wanted to follow these two cases through and the fellowship allowed me the opportunity to stay there this summer and continue working through uh, the two cases. I interned with Judge Ariaga in Brooklyn Criminal Court. I applied through the Joint Minority Bar Association where over 200 applicants from all over the country applied and out of those 200 applicants only 25 to 30 were selected and I was one of the lucky ones that went through the application and interview process and was then placed with Judge Ariaga in the Brooklyn State Criminal Court. I was able to draft pre-sentencing reports that the judge will refer to on the record while sentencing a defendant. I also got to sit behind the bench with him almost every day. I got to listen in on conference. I sat in with almost every judge in that courthouse. I witnessed a trial and I was able to write a memo on the Rockefeller drug reforms. My name is Jeanette Valletta and I worked at the Babylon Town Attorney's Office. Um, when I was an undergrad, I worked at the New York City Law Department and I enjoyed it there so I figured I'd try another municipality or government agency. And I also live in the town of Babylon so I wanted to learn more about local laws. This summer, I worked on the town code for Babylon. I did research on ba uh, bamboo use and tobacco use in public places. After a ton of legal research was completed, I was able to draft resolutions which amended town code. So if you look now, the town code is different from what it was last year. And that's due to all the hard work and research I put in, and I'm immensely proud of that. Hi, I'm Robert Moneta. I'm a current 3L. Uh, my Pitt Public Interest Law Fellowship gave me the chance to work for veterans and service members um, that basically served our military and the United States Armed Forces. Um, majority of our veterans had um, issues with PTSD and things of that nature and needed help with housing, um, child support modifications. I got some vet, uh, veterans, uh, veterans benefits, uh, service-connected disabilities, 
um, t tenant and landlord disputes, uh, vacating warrants, things of that nature. Yes, there, uh, there was a couple stories that stuck out, but for me the most was we, um, I met a gentleman last year at the VA during our monthly visit who just been admitted into the VA hospital for his, um, he was actually homeless for five years and had been beaten up severely. Um, when the VA admitted him, they asked us to get on board to help him basically get his life back together. Um, till this day, we have filed multiple uh, service connection disabilities. We can compensate him monthly. We got him uh, additional housing. We got him housing. We got him a cell phone, food stamps, and he's ultimately meeting weekly with a mental hygienist to ensure that he's on the right track. Hi, my name is Stephanie Schenlinger. I'm a public interest law fellow. Receiving the fellowship and receiving the money that I got for the summer was incredibly helpful. It allowed for me to not have to carry a job over the summer and just be able to work certain nights over the weekend so I could focus on the legal work that I was doing, which I found to be incredibly helpful and less stressful not knowing that my I would have to work extra hours doing other things to pay bills and everything for the summer was paid for, making my life much easier. While I was at the Hop Hog office, I helped in a case that was dealing with autism and the rights of the student. And this was, a, this was someone that had a very severe case of autism and was being um, taken away from the services that they were already in need of. And so to do the research and help write a memo and actually work with the attorney on the settlement, that was probably the best experience I had while I was there. If I could rate the fellowship program on a scale from one to 10, I would have to give it a 10. And the reason why I give it such a high score is because it allowed me to take an internship in public interest that was unpaid and convert it into a paid one. My experience, I would give it a nine and a half. It was absolutely amazing. I have never worked in the law before and to have this opportunity to see how it works behind the scenes, to be involved directly in the, as it's going on, I would give it a nine and a half, if not a 10. 10 out of 10. So I would rate it a 10. The whole experience was amazing, sitting behind the bench with the judge, going into courtrooms, writing memos, witnessing uh, defendants from their, the beginning of their case to the end of the case. It was truly amazing and a rewardable experience and I definitely learned a lot. I would, I would have to, no question about it, rate it a, a 10. It was an invaluable experience and I would definitely rate it a 10. I'd rate it a thousand. I enjoyed this summer very much. It was an invaluable experience. I got to meet a lot of people. I got to learn so much more than I could have learned, you know, just sitting in a classroom. I got to put the skills that Toro has taught me to use in the real world, and I wouldn't trade this past summer for anything. One of the reasons why I came to law school was to help people out, and public interest law is one of those fields of law that helps people out. 